Ah, geek out. Pinkies up. Time for another geek out book club. I'm Sam. I'm Jake. This week we're going to be talking about the Image Comics series Blue Monday by China Clugston Flores. Um, it's awesome. It, yeah. This is kind of it, if you think about it, the book's been out for about like 15 years, but mm. it's getting remastered with new colors by Jordi Belair for uh, Image Comics out everywhere, at least the first volume, in comic book shops and on Comixology on Wednesday, July 27th. Jake, what did you think of it? Yeah, I mean, I dug it. I mean, I, you know, there's a lot of elements of, of an earlier Image book we talked about, uh, Octopus Pie, I think, in there. Um, but, you know, again, this is obviously in the manga style, so you get all the kind of great little... Very manga. Yeah, style. all the great little manga, uh, uh, you know, elements in there. They can get away with some of the art, some of the funny kind of like chibi type things going on. Um, throughout the book but it's great i mean you know what snapshot of kind of the early 90s scene um yeah it takes place like in 91 93 I think. something like that yeah yeah um but no I, li- I mean i like these type of books you know what i mean um these books are really easy to relate to and get interested in and uh you know that's something i think we touched on a lot with octopus pie as well mm-hmm. um like i said another image book we did um you know way back now but yeah um, it's it's got all those great elements in there and, and relatable, relatable characters. A lot and of like 80s, 90s, like Brit pop. Sure, yeah, yeah. You know, of course, Adam Ant being a big influence, yeah. but you've also got, I feel like Duran Duran or The or the Cure wouldn't be uh, out of place. Yeah. Um, I think, you know, Blur gets gets uh, referenced. Yeah. So, I yeah. mean, this, this could be kind of like in the terms of like we were talking about Sing Street a lot. You yeah. know, this is very much kind of like what well, you know the next uh, next generation type da, da, Sing da, da, Street. You know, God. Yeah, but yeah, that that would be Blue Finnegan and and Jean Luc Picard team up. That's right. Yeah, look look for him in the book. <laughs> um, but no, I mean, I remember reading this too and thinking like, I know Sam's gonna love this book. Oh, it was great. It's it got Sam written all over it too. You know. Yeah. Yeah, I'm a big Brit pop. And of course, it's got like Buster Keaton. Buster Keaton. Buster Keaton's so cool. And if you think about it, this book came out right around the, or at least takes place right around the same time, like Benny and June mm. yeah. came out, yeah, yeah. where, where uh, Johnny Depp is basically a Buster Keaton esque yeah. character. Does some Charlie Chaplin in there too. Yeah, yeah. The um, bread dance. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Bread was, roll dance, I guess, would be. Not yeah. just bread dancing around. Yeah. <laughs> but wouldn't that be, what a world. I mean, yeah, you know. What a world that get, would be if we actually saw Disney. bread dancing. I'd see, yeah. Yeah. Why didn't that happen in Ratatouille? Because it was all rats. <laughs> <laughs> Open your refrigerator and just bread starts marching out. Hey, wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> Something's probably danger field. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, wait a minute. Whoa, whoa. Oh, whoa, 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 bread. No, no wait, respect. Yeah. No respect. Where are you going, bread? Get, yeah. get back in the refrigerator here. Yeah. <laughs> what is this? The Sledgehammer music video? Oh, hey. Now it's turning to introduce Clay. That means to stop. Yeah. God damn. Yeah, let's not do that. But uh, no, it's it's a great kind of snapshot of, you know, it also reminds me of like Perks of Being a Wallflower. Oh, yeah. Not as serious oh. as Perks of Being a Wallflower. I mean, yeah. But and those anything, emotions come from a real place. Yeah, no, you're totally right. I mean, in and, and the same the same era, you know, as well. Sure. You know, definitely, I guess, they don't really say it in the movie, but I guess it's supposed to be early 90s yeah. uh, in the book, you know, and everything. They're still using cassettes. That's right, that's right. Um, they can't look up the internet to see that it's, you know, David Bowie does Heroes, but um, <laughs> which is fine. But no, I mean, yeah, yeah it's it, the Berlin period. It, it was not successful. No <laughs> it's it, 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 it strikes all those chords and it does a great job doing so. You know, I I have become a fan of, you know, kind of manga anime stuff. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, thanks to Corey, we've mentioned her a lot, but yeah. she's an expert on all that stuff. And so it, it was I, I like that kind of style. And those colors, right? Those colors. So good. Look at those. Jordy's a beast. Yeah. And of course, you know, it's it was originally Jordy, over- I, like I say, I know her. Yeah. Jordy Belair is a beast. Yeah. But the. Uh, it was interesting. It used to be an uh, Oni Press book, and it actually predates Scott Pilgrim by like five years, mm. despite kind of like the same like high school manga esque yeah. atmosphere. So, Blue Monday came first. Also, you get a bunch of like <laughs> you get a bunch of to take that. Yeah, you get a bunch of short stories too. It's, yeah, it's kind of back matter. Yeah. So uh, you know, I it, it just definitely you know check it out again. It's out in comic book shops and on Comicsology everywhere tomorrow, July twenty seventh. So. Keep an eye out. This has been another installment of Geek Out Book Club. I'm Sam. I'm Jake. Keep reading. This has been another Geek Out production. If you enjoyed what you heard, hey, you know, we've got a new commentary every Monday. We've got a special episode every Friday. Of course, there's the usual catching up show every Wednesday. And you get book club episodes just about every Tuesday these days. Thanks for listening.